It is a growing tragedy tonight in Worcester. Two more people found dead after a weekend fire at a triple decker. That now brings the total to four victims. And tonight, crews have not totally cleared that building. WBZ's Ken McLeod is live at the Gage Street site tonight with more on the investigation. Ken? David, even after the weekend tragedy here doubled in scope, the deputy fire chief warned that there could still be other bodies in there. City officials ducked any discussion on the cause of this fire this afternoon, but the building's owner had plenty to say. Federal investigators joined the locals on Gage Street today as the building's owner openly suspected arson. You think somebody said it? Yes. Jim Lee says a surveillance camera on his property captured a man lurking around the place in the wee hours of Saturday morning. At uh, 3.20, I saw someone was wandering around the building. That was 10 minutes before firefighters swarmed the scene to battle a blaze that started on a rear deck and quickly jumped to four alarms. By Saturday afternoon, two residents had been found dead, but firefighters knew some folks were still unaccounted for. They found two more bodies today, and there's still more debris to search. They are removing debris by hand, so it's a very slow process. Um, the potential does exist for more victims. But the building owner says the bravery of a first floor resident saved many lives. He was banging to everybody's door. Fail, fail. The building's smoke detectors were working, but its owner and city officials fear some residents might have gone back to sleep, thinking it was yet another false alarm. The city of Worcester offers our deepest condolences to the victims' families and loved ones. We asked the district attorney if investigators had found anything in the charred ruins to indicate arson. They're the professionals. We'll let them do their work. Can't speak to any of that right now. The owner says his surveillance video is now in police hands. I already sent the video to the detective. They are in control. Fear of a building collapse has delayed investigators and so have snakes. You heard right, snakes. It turns out one resident had several pet snakes that survived, and an expert had to be summoned to remove them. Live in Worcester tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News. Ken, thank you.